I know for my money, I get more of this than I get more of this. Hey guys, what's up? This is Muscle Panda here. Today, we're going to be doing a simple comparison. We're going to be doing pre-workout versus energy drinks. So right here, I got my monster. Right here, I got my pre-workout. I'm just going to be comparing these two things because these are just the things I have on hand. Obviously, there's a bunch of different pre-workouts and a bunch of different energy drinks. Ingredients are, relatively speaking, similar or the same. Now, I know in Monster, it has L-carnitine, B vitamins, caffeine mostly. This one has 230 calories. Let's see. Carbonated water, sugar, glucose, Panax ginseng, L-carnitine, L-tarate, sorbic acid. I think those are all the pertinent things the energy blend taurine panic ginseng l-carnitine caffeine blah 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 so that seems to be mostly the energy brand blend it's a combination of the l-carnitine caffeine and taurine whereas with pre-workout this has significantly more caffeine in it that was only 160 milligrams in the monster this has 300 milligrams, this is like double. But assuming you took similar dosages. Let's see. This has thymine, niacin, other B vitamins like B6, B12, citrulline, malate, beta alanine, taurine, L tyrosine, L thinine, thrombobine, L noraline, uperzine A. Now, I know for my money, I get more of this than I get more of this. A case of this is like 30 bucks at Sam's Club. A jug of this, I think, is like 20 bucks or something, depending on what brand you get. This is just NutriCost because this is just what I had on hand. I typically like NutriCost better for most of their stuff. Um, and this is going to last a lot longer. This has 60 servings, and that's if you took double the caffeine that's in the monster so basically the biggest breakdown is is the little ingredients so all the b vitamins and stuff l-carnitine those are basically the same but irrelevant some of that stuff has scientific basis for helping burn fat and gain energy but it's a mixed bag your major ingredients is going to be your caffeine your beta alanine and your citrine malate the beta alanine and the citrine malate is going to help with endurance where the caffeine is going to help with the rush. So it really depends on what you want in a pre-workout or whatever before your workout that you take. If you just want caffeine, the energy drink probably works. But it really just does not compare to a cliche pre-workout. Now, there are some benefits. I have gastric issues, so certain things I eat agitate the living shit out of my stomach. That being said, for some reason, this stuff irritates my stomach like a bitch. This doesn't. I don't know why. I think it's the less ingredients because something about the beta alanine or something in here aggravates my stomach. So I take my pre-workout sparingly. I'll even do like half scoops and I'll drink it very slowly over the course of like an hour which I know a lot of people just chug it, which that's what I used to do, but I get sick anytime I chug pre-workout. I mean, I'd probably get sick if I chugged a monster too, but it's a different level of sick. All that, I would still have to lean towards pre-workout just because, one, you get more for your money, and two, it just has a better ingredient profile and significantly less calories. This has... No calories, apparently. So no calories versus calories and cheaper. Pre-workout's the way to go, my guy. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Do your thing. I'll see you.